Hello, my name is Richard. This is Over and Over and Over Again, and this is the Continental Cup Final Match Preview. So it's a big game this weekend, isn't it? Arsenal women versus Chelsea women, a final of the Continental Cup holders, Arsenal against league champions Chelsea, and of course an opportunity for us to stop Chelsea winning the quadruple, which as things stand at the moment is still on, isn't it? Of course, this game's coming just two weeks after that really disappointing 3-1 defeat at Stamford Bridge in the WSL, such a poor Arsenal performance. But looking back on it now, maybe it's a good thing that happened because I feel for this final, we're going to be much more focused on this game. We know the mistakes that we made. We know how to put it right. We did beat Chelsea 4-1, of course, at the Emirates earlier in the season. So um, there's no excuses, is there, this time? We've got it all to play for. It's our only trophy left that we can potentially win. So we have to give it everything. And I'm sure we will. We've had a habit, haven't we, of rising to the occasion in the big games over the last couple of seasons. Obviously, just a year ago, we won this very final, didn't we, against Chelsea, coming from behind with a really impressive performance. And we're going to have to play as well as that again, aren't we? I don't see any reason why we can't do that. Um, but we know Chelsea are a good side, and when it matters, they do tend to find a way to win games. I think player for player, team for team, I think we're as good as them, if not maybe slightly better. It's all on the day, isn't it? If we play to our maximum level, I think we can win. But you have to say, if Chelsea play to their maximum level, then we're going to have to really, really rise to the occasion, aren't we? But it's all set to be a really exciting game, isn't it? Um, and yeah, of course, I, I'm confident that we can get the result and lift the trophy. We wouldn't have travelled all this way to Wolverhampton if we felt we were going to lose. So I, I think we can win. But there's a lot to um, worry about with Chelsea, isn't there? As we know, Emma Hayes is last season. She's going to want to go out on a high. And it's the first trophy of the season. Of course, if they win this, it could well set them up for that quadruple, which would be the last thing we want to see, wouldn't it? So, um, But let's see what happens. Let's get Andreas's thoughts on the game. Hello, everybody. Yeah, here we go. Continental Cup final on Easter Sunday. Arsenal versus Chelsea. Yeah, let's look on the yeah on the circumstances on the Conti Cup final. Uh, can we win this final? Yes, of course we can win it. Will we win it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a 50-50 match, I think. And uh, when you look at the last match two weeks ago, uh, and the Chelsea's uh, uh, season so far, then I have to say that uh, Chelsea is the favourite for this final. Uh, they are top of the league. They are in uh, Champions League semi-finals, probably. <laughs> they are play, playing tonight the second uh, leg versus Ajax Amsterdam. But they are 3-0 up, so they will reach the semi-final. They are in semi-final of the FA Cup. And they are in the Conti Cup final. While we are struggling... Uh, to defend the third place. Uh, no Champions League, no FA Cup, only the Conti Cup final. Uh, yeah, Chelsea dominated us at Stamford Bridge for 90 minutes and they they fully deserved to uh, have beaten us 3-1 and it could have been a higher score. Yeah, But this is two weeks ago and I'm sure we learned from this uh, yeah, we have beaten and outplayed them in December, 4-1 at the Emirates. And in last year's Conti Cup Final, 3-1. Yeah, so it's possible. If we show passion, if we show a winning mentality and are not afraid of players like Lauren James, Guru Wrighton, uh, Shoka Nuskan, uh, Myra Ramirez, if she's playing, yeah. We have our qualities. We can beat them. Yeah, so let's do it. It's important that our defense is stable, that we can keep the likes of LJ, Wrighton, Ramirez, Rutin Kanorit quiet. And we have to be passionate and uh, aggressive, concentrated from the first whistle. We are the title holders. This is our cup. <laughs> our only chance to win a trophy this season. So let's do it. I'm sure that Jonas will, will say similar things to the girls. Uh, yeah, if the girls believe in themselves, if Jonas chooses the right tactics, the right match plan, and the right lineup, then everything is possible. I'm sure it will be a close and tough match between two top teams with equal qualities, 
and small margins will decide. Let's hope the small margins are the small margins are with us. Uh, yeah, what's good? We have one week of training and preparation for this final. Chelsea has uh, just three days after the Champions League match against Ajax. It will be a sold-out stadium at uh, Molino in, in Wolverhampton, and two-thirds of the uh, spectators of, of the people there will be Arsenal supporters. So be brave, be passionate, believe in yourself, be self-confident. Yeah, and then we will win. And uh, more about the predicted lineup and my score prediction in uh, later clips. Thank you so far. Come on, you gunners. So, in terms of the lineup, then I think that um, we're not going to see too many changes from the team that's been playing fairly regularly in the WSL in recent weeks. I think Manu Zinsberger will start in goal and I would start her in goal as well. Yes, she makes mistakes. We know that. She didn't have a bad game in the end at Chelsea, did she? In the second half in particular, she made four or five good saves. Um, so I would start with Manu in this game. She plays in all the big games and yeah, I think that she'll be the right choice for this game. I think the back four pretty much picks itself at the moment, doesn't it? I think Emily Fox will be in at right back, of course. No doubt about that. She's been our best player, hasn't she, since she joined. The two centre-backs, Leah Williamson, of course will be there just uh, two days after her birthday and Lotta Wubamoy who's been brilliant this season that'll be a good partnership there at the back and of course the left back you'd imagine Katie McCabe is going to get the nod over Steph Catley in midfield of course Leah Vault is out as we know so Kim Little is going to have a big responsibility there I think she'll sit slightly deeper I think Vicky Palova will be alongside her those two have been pretty decent haven't they when they've played together this season Vicky's had a great season so I would definitely go with that and just ahead of those two my personal choice would be sticking Leslie Russo there um, so that Stina can play up front will Jonas go with that I'm not convinced he will. I think he may well put free to Marnham in that number 10 position, uh, potentially. Or maybe he might go a bit cautious and maybe play Kyra Cooney-Cross in the midfield and have like a, a double pivot with maybe Kim Little being given a little bit more freedom. That's an option as well, isn't it? Then, of course, you've got the front three. I think Beth Mead on the right is a given. Um, the left-hand side one's quite interesting, isn't it? I suppose Katie McKay could be pushed on if Steph played left-back. I think he'll probably go with Chloe Lacasse, who's made a big impact on that position. Uh, just getting a nod over Caitlin Ford and, of course, number nine. If he's only going with one striker, you'd imagine Jonas will pick uh, Leslie Russo because he's done most of the season in the WSL games. But Steen is our top scorer. And we know they can play together. They, they ripped Aston Villa apart in the semi-final. They've linked up well in other games. I would do that personally. Will Jonas have the have the minerals to go with two strikers against Chelsea. I mean, I, I would I would put uh, Lessie in the number 10 position. Perfect opportunity. Frieda's not been playing that well this season. She's been a bit hit and miss. Yes, she's got goals, but I would put Lessie there. I think her, her game is suited to that role. It gives Steena the chance to run in behind. But what will Jonas do? And more to the point, what will Andreas do? Okay, and now let's look on the predicted lineup. And I will give you two... Uh, First one is my preferred lineup, how I would line up for the match, for the final. <clears throat> and the second one is the lineup Jonas will probably choose. And you will see it's different and yeah, <laughs> it's up to you uh, to decide whether my lineup is the better one. I think yes, but we'll see. Yeah, I would start with a Sabrina and goal. <laughs> you know that I don't rate Manu very high, so please. Let's have playing go. Then uh, in defense, uh, left and right back are for me Emily Fox and Katie McKay. And the center backs are Lotta Moy and yeah, Leah Williamson. I think uh, she showed improvement uh, in the match against Villa. And um, yeah, her opening long passes are so important. Then the holding midfielder, as Wally is out with injury for maybe the rest of the season, at least for a few weeks. So the holding midfielder for me is Kyra Cooney Cross. And uh, then Kim, of course, Captain Kim is, is a must in, in such a match. She will be important for the balance of the team, for, for leading the girls. Yeah, and my number 10 is Alessia Russo. Then, uh, yeah, the attacking uh, line is for me, Beth Mead, Stina Blackstenius, 
and Chloe Lacas. I was thinking about Chloe or Caitlin, but uh, why not giving Chloe the chance and bring Caitlin, uh, sub Caitlin in later? And for me, very important, let's play Lassie and Stina together. I think they showed that this works. And for me, Lassie is more important in, yeah, in a number 10 role where she can create uh, situations where, where she can drop deeper and uh, win the ball back and protect the ball. She's very, very good in this. And the better striker or the better number nine, at least at the moment, is Stina. <laughs> She's scoring goals, decisive goals. So let her play at number nine and let them play together, Lassie and Stina. And I think, uh, I, I only, not only think, I'm convinced this will work. And we would still have fantastic subs and firepower, fresh legs from the bench with Steph Catley, with Frida Manum, Caitlin Ford, uh, Vicky Pelova, and uh, for the defense, if we are leading and have to defend a lead, then uh, there's Laia Codina, and uh, yeah, maybe uh, a few minutes for Laura Wienert are also possible, because she's back in the squad. That's my lineup. And how will Jonas start the match? Well, he will start with Manu in goal. The defense is the same as mine, with Emily, Lotta, Leah and Katie. Then uh, Jonas midfield will be Kim, uh, Vicky Palova, Vic and Frida. And uh, the attacking uh, three will be for Jonas, Beth, Leslie and Caitlin. I think that's the way he will start. Yeah, it's up to you to decide whether my lineup would be better and <laughs> the match on Sunday will show but the Jonas was right. Uh, anyway, let's hope the best and let's hope for a win. And the goal prediction, yeah, I'm thinking about it and then I'll be back. So we need a score prediction, don't we? I mean, it's going to be a difficult one to call, isn't it? It's what Arsenal turn up. Is it the Arsenal that beat Chelsea so convincingly at the Emirates? Or will it be the Arsenal that turned up at Stamford Bridge and got a beating? Hopefully, it will be the first one, but it could be somewhere in between. I think this game is going to be a lot tighter than the previous two games this season. I think there's a, so much at stake. Chelsea, as we said, going for the quadruple. Arsenal's only chance to win a trophy this season. So I think it's going to be quite a cagey game. Both teams know each other extremely well. Uh, but I do think Arsenal maybe just have an edge in the fact that it's all all or nothing for us, isn't it? We can't afford it to lose this game. Chelsea still have three other trophies they can win. So maybe that gives us a slight edge in this game. I think it, it did last season and I think it will again this season. We know we can beat them and I think we'll do it again. It's going to be a tight game. There's not going to be much in it. I don't think we're going to see as many goals as we have, I say, in the previous games this season. But I think we will win. Um, I'm going to go with a final score prediction of Arsenal 2, Chelsea 1. We're bound to concede a goal. I think we've got the firepower. I think uh, Leslie Russo has got a couple of goals against Chelsea this season. I think she'll be on the score sheet and hopefully maybe Steena will get that winning goal. But who knows? Beth Mead uh, likes a goal against Chelsea, doesn't she? She's a big game player as well. So maybe Beth might turn up with a winning goal. But I don't care who scores as long as we get the result. But I'm going to go Arsenal 2, Chelsea 1. It's going to be a tense game. It's going to be an exciting in game let's see what Andrea thinks so hello again and now my final thoughts for the, to the Conti Cup uh, final on Easter Sunday the goal prediction uh, yes uh, let's let's start with uh, with this we will concede early a corner across uh, and Manu the statue will watch all from from her place on the line as always Chelsea will only need uh, one chance and this will be a goal against us. But this time we will fight our way back, I'm convinced. And we will score an equalizer in second half, I think. Yeah, and then the match will go to extra time. And in extra time we will dominate Chelsea and we will be the team to win. We will score a late winner. Probably Stina will be the one who scores. <laughs> it doesn't matter who scores, but we will score the winner. So it's 2-1 after extra time for the Arsenal. That's my prediction. I think we would all be happy with this to come true. So come on, you Gunners. Let's win the Conti Cup. We are the Arsenal. Ah, see you on Sunday. So that's your 
Continental Cup final match preview. We couldn't do a live show, as I said, but we've managed to bring you a little preview. So I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. Don't forget as well, put your comments in below. What's your score prediction? What team lineup would you go with for the final? What do you think Jonas will do? Will he go with his predictable team or will he throw in one or two surprises? That'd be interesting, won't it? Um, so yeah, let, let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, give us a like. Don't forget to share and subscribe. We'll be there, of course, at the game at Molyneux on Sunday. Hopefully, we'll be able to get Andreas on as well. We're going to be doing a vlog, of course, from the stadium. We're going to be going through everything there. So join us for that. If you are at the game on Sunday, obviously enjoy it. If you see me, if you see Andreas, say hello. It'll be nice to meet you. Um, and you can get on camera as well if you like. So we'll be doing a vlog of that. Look out for that. We'll probably put it out at some point on Monday or maybe even Sunday evening if we if we uh, get back quickly. If there's no extra time, who knows? Um, so yeah, join us for that. We look forward to seeing you then. Um, take it easy, guys. And yeah, big cup final weekend, isn't it? Come on, you gunners. Let's do it. Oh, yeah.